As we expanded VX 2.1 to support distributed vault, we also enhanced the backup process to support distributed architecture. In this video, I will demonstrate how to configure and run a backup process for distributed vault. If you need to refresh your memory about the backup capabilities that were added in previous release, I recommend watching the video XDM Server Backup on the VX.2 playlist. Look for the link to this video on the description of the current video. In VX 2.1, we expanded the backup capabilities to also support distributed vault deployment while still enabling an uninterrupted backup process that does not require downtime of the XDM server, supporting incremental backup that saves valuable resources such as time and disk space, and maintaining our support of the scheduler for launching the backup on a predefined interval. Hence, when you configure backup on a distributed Vault XDM server, we not only support backup of local data of the embedded database and essential files, but we also backup the remote master vault. The backup target directory can be configured to be on a network filer. Thus, all the backup packages will be created safely on a filer remotely from the XDM server. After a successful deployment of the XDM server, it is most important to configure a backup. A good backup plan is your key for recovering from a disaster. The backup package includes the containers of the XDM server, which are the embedded database, the vault, configuration, and other key XDM server files. Customers using an Oracle database will have to manage the Oracle database backup on their own. The Configuration Manager provides a central location to manage the backup. From the Backup menu, use the option to configure the backup settings. Here, you define the backup base location, which highly recommended to be a file location on the network in order to achieve separation between the production data and the backup data. You have to verify that the XDM server user has read-write permission on this directory. The second option is to exclude the vault from the backup package. Use this option only if you have your own internal tools that takes care of backing up the vault. Let's review the other options on the backup menu. You have the option to configure the scheduler for both full and incremental backup. And the option to run full or incremental backup now. These options are not different than what you had on VX.2. However, when you investigate the content of the backup package, you will see that it contains the vault data that was copied from the remote master vault compared to the local vault of a standalone deployment. In addition to that, you will also see that the backup package contains the node bundles and other configuration files of the nodes such as the node templates, for example. Therefore, during recovery, you will have everything needed to successfully restore your distributed Vault XDM server configuration and data. Some customers might choose not to use Mentor's utilities to run the backup, and instead using existing IT tools to manage the backup. This is possible and supported as long as the customer understands how to set it correctly. By definition, the ownership of Oracle Backup is upon the customer. Moreover, the customer can use off-the-shelf products to manage the backup of the vault. After all, a file-level backup of the vault is sufficient. Therefore, a customer that has such tools already can leverage and use them. For customers that decided to take this approach, our best practice is to take advantage of the backup utility and at least run it once while excluding the vault so that the package will contain all the configurations and essential files. In this video, we review the backup enhancements added to VX 2.1. The main enhancement is the support of a remote vault backup. We also discussed how customers can leverage their own existing backup tools to manage the backup of an XDM server.